water. Many manufacturing facilities rely on it, returning used water back to the environment after it has been treated. But here, at Invista's Victoria, Texas facility, used water also creates a thriving wetland full of plants and wildlife. One thing that's really special to me is that this is a thriving ecosystem. The plants and animals just really thrive and reproduce at a rapid rate of speed. That's John Snyder, a veteran science educator who teaches the Invista Wetland Environmental Science Education Encounter in partnership with the local school district. My first day on the wetland, I walked up to the fence and I saw this huge garter snake. It was the biggest garter snake I'd ever seen. I mean, this thing was huge. John Snyder, our wetland education coordinator, worked very closely with local teachers to develop the right curriculum that met the state of Texas science standards. Now, we do have American bald eagles here, so watch for them also. More than 30 schools, colleges, and universities now use this living classroom to provide hands-on lessons with water, soil, plants, and animals. Lots of animals. We have six species of fish, 36 species of reptiles, 18 species of mammals, 217 species of birds, I believe. And the Victoria School District is getting interesting returns from the Invista Wetlands Education Collaboration. Our students just seem to get it. They just seem to connect. They just seem to put things together out here. All you have to do is take a look at our students' faces. They're engaged, they're excited about learning. Since 1998, there have been more than 60,000 students in the wetland. It's just a really great environment to teach students. Some people might think science is boring, but he shows how it's fun, awesome, and amazing. <laughs> and to think it all started here.